to grow in in our uh, spiritual life. Why do we need spiritual growth? Because it's proof that we are still alive. alive. It's very simple. Why do we need the spiritual growth? Why do we need to pay attention with our spiritual life? Because it proof that we are still alive. And God Himself is the one who will make it grow. We need to to really understand this part. First uh, Corinthians three verse six said God will be the only one who will make it grow. So some churches they claim like ah that person if if not because of us she will be not like that. She was so bad before, but because she attend our church and her spiritual uh, life like become grow and very so they claim the church that church claim that the, the spiritual life of, of uh, that person is because of them. Some pastor also like that. They said, ah, that, that man before he was nothing, but when he joined me and when he became my my uh, church member, he grew. So so they, they didn't realize uh, they claim the spiritual growth is because of them. Some also, some also people they said, oh, because I, I really love God. Because I'm really like this, like that, so I'm getting, I, I, I'm really good in my spiritual life, getting much better. Yeah, in, in some part, uh, it sounds like it's okay, it sounds it's true, but this is the, the truth one. God is the only one. Maybe you can open and you read it, but at home, not now, we don't have time. <laughs> so God himself is the one who will make it grow. The church, pastor, or even yourself, we just uh, take part of the uh, take part in that uh, spiritual uh, uh, develop to make it uh, smooth, but God Himself will make it grow. Okay, let's see. So since God the one who will uh, make it grow, who will increase uh, our spirit, uh, spiritual life, mm -hmm. the thing that we need to know that what are things that can mm -hmm. obstruct our spiritual growth. So we just need to pay attention for like uh, a flower when it become good. It must be there's a hand there or uh, try to, to clean up. Like for me there's some, what is it? Thorn? Something like that. Uh, come from the, from the, like the grass, the white grass come suddenly uh, next to the flowers. I need to take it out. So we need to, to pay attention with uh, the thing that can abstract our spiritual growth. First of all, yeah, the first part, uh, sometimes we underestimating the influence of outside work. It's really, really a serious thing. Nowadays, like Pastor said uh, last, last Sunday, uh, it's very difficult to stand with God's standard nowadays. Most of the time we, we, we like become like, ah, we need to love them. It's true, but you know the, the world is getting worse. Uh, a few days ago, uh, our family we talked about the how the world now and then. Uh, they said, "Hi, now getting getting very difficult. The the good become bad, the bad become good, the good people become bad. So the world is make make us really crazy. If we don't really have the 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 real value of Christian life, we will." Uh, we will crash by that. So be careful with the influence of uh, influence of uh, outside work. Pro uh, proper for uh, verse uh, fourteen to uh, fifteen. What did it say? Does Michelle can you help? Proper uh, for, uh, fourteen. Yeah. Proverbs four verse fourteen. And turn not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. The influence of the world will still come to us. But if we avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away, then we will be in the good quality of spiritual life. First Corinthians 15, 33 said, Be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. 
uh, yeah, uh, yeah, in in Macau, uh, we we are quite quite okay because we can meet up uh, like uh, during the week. But in Hong Kong, in our church, they they can only meet uh, meet up uh, uh, every Sunday because they are all stay in. And I, I told them uh, every Sunday you have only two hours to go to the church. If uh, six days you already with your uh, work, the full day, and then on Sunday, you no, know, you you cannot even spend two hours to follow with the to get uh, get to uh, gather together with the with the the church. It's very dangerous because you fit your uh, you fit your non spiritual life more than your spiritual life. It's very dangerous. Without realizing, sometimes we we don't take it very seriously when we are already spend more time with the non-spiritual things rather than sp the spiritual thing. Second one. Second one. What are the things that can obstruct our spiritual growth? Refusing, refusing to take the opportunity or golden moment that that, that God given to us. When we miss a golden moment or opportunity from God, that same exact opportunity will not come at that specific time again. There may be some purifying process again, and that may take longer time. In some uh, other Bible verse, it said, "When you hear what God, uh, when you hear the word of God now, it means the time is now. The time will not come back at the same." So sometimes, because like sometimes we try to delay. If God said, "Do this," I next time lah, my heart is still like this. Next time my family is like like that. Next time I, I, my, I still need more time for that. Sometimes the golden moment will not come back again. Revelation three four seven said, "And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write these things," uh, said he, "That is holy, he that is true." He that had uh, key, the key of David, he had opened and no man shut, and shut and no man opened. It means that, yeah, if you check the, the, the original uh, uh, version, it said uh, Kairos. Kairos means uh, opportunity, once only. It will never come back. Just like the Israel when they, they uh, uh, came out from the Egypt, God said, actually, only, yeah, you guys know, only. Uh, not even many years go to the promised land, but they miss it. So they need to walk around for 14, uh, sorry, for 40 uh, years, right? If you want to walk around for 40 years, then <laughs> <laughs> just miss the golden yeah. moment. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes the, 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 the golden moment already there. Just because we don't aware and we keep delay, delay, delay. And yeah, God is full with mercy, of course. But be careful. There is a time the door is closed. When the door is open and God say, now you have to do it now, not tomorrow. Because we never know. Maybe there is no tomorrow for us. Who will guarantee no, uh, we will still have tomorrow? Of course, our hope is in the Lord. But if we have the golden moment from God. I know God is talking to your heart now. The same way he talked to me now. If something God asks you to do now, don't delay it. It will not come back again. We will walk around, we will walk around for many years again. It will take a long time again to get the, the, the golden moment again. If you remember, like, if you um, join or you love to watch, like, uh, God Talent or, yeah, Expector or something like that, sometimes the judge, they have the golden ticket. Yeah, they only, uh, like, there is a 20, 20 contestant, they can only use one. When they release the golden ticket, uh, the, there is no uh, chance again for the others. It's like that. God's mercy is endures and forever. God's love is forever. But there's some part in our life, when God say do it, and we don't do it, we will lose the chance. It will take more time. And we come to the first two. I got this. Oh, Sis Michelle, I need my ability. You miss already. I miss many golden moments, of, of course. And I realize I need to walk around again. Oh, okay, okay. Even so hard, I will say yes then. Okay, well. 
it really really uh, affect for our, our spiritual life if we don't really uh, aware with uh, missing that golden moment in our life what is that golden moment in our life the holy spirit will talk to you with your heart maybe there's something that wants you to do but you keep delay it with your character or with your decision with your job or anything that you know holy spirit already tells you do it do it do it there will be a time the holy spirit will not tell do it again because because you already missed the time Amen? Amen. Next, the third one, the things that can obstruct our spiritual growth. Thinking that it is enough to just read the Bible, listen to worship songs, watch online preaching, and no longer attending and being active in a local church community. Some people are like this, I especially when pandemic coming. <laughs> yeah, for us, like, for us, we really want to be together, right? <laughs> but for, oh yeah, yeah, oh, my friend in, in Indonesia, uh, before they were very active, when the pandemic coming, everything becomes Zoom, they also active. But when everything like, when no more Zoom, they need to, everything become normal, new normal, they become lazy already. <laughs> hey, we used to do Zoom, even though we don't come the hair, we don't put that. <laughs> but, but I know why you need to go again. You know, the Bible said, like, it's very clear in the New Testament that we need the community. That us, everyone who already repent, who already have a new life, to fellow together with the church community. Because you will see how sees Michelle if she is not in a good mood. You will see it like that. Because you will see how Pastor June is she's really in a good mood. We will see one each other. The weakness of her, the, the strength of uh, Jessica. We will see one each other. But that's how it is. That's how the church. I like to listen or uh, uh, watching worship uh, songs or even online preaching. But it's not enough. It's a... I think, yeah, it's a big mistake if we, we decide to just grow with that kind of uh, spiritual uh, things. My friends out of there, they used to do that. Oh, it's okay. Uh, but every Sunday, you know, I, I joined the serial preaching of, of Pastor This. Okay. And then, you know, I know the new album of this, uh, this uh, music uh, team, worship team. Okay. Because that church, I, I went, I visited them once time, but they're not really welcoming you. They try to find another church. You have no choice. You have to join and commit with a local church. That's the real you. That, yeah, because that's what the Bible said. If we just just watching, yeah, it's good, but it's not enough. Because when when we watch the oh, I want to be, I want to be blessed. We just choose the the blessing preaching all about blessing, but turns out. Our need is about forgiveness. Because when I, when I yeah, few a few months ago, uh, one of the church member in in uh, Hong Kong, she sent the, the son to to a church. Yeah, they moved to another country and they said, Pastor, can you give uh, some church for recommend uh, my son to join? And I give uh, one church, and then when they attend. He said uh, because he woke up uh, quite late, so when he attended, the, the the service already started. And then when they attend, they attend when they sit down. The the preaching it's about uh, it's about on time, <laughs> but they didn't know on each other. So when they said when they sit, when they they just sit and then the pastor said yeah some people come already like uh, like but the, of course the pastor not talk about them. And then when they went uh, went home, uh, the church member uh, texted me, ah, they don't want to go to the church, uh, that church anymore. Okay, why? Because you know they just they just come for the first time, and the pastor already said it's about life. I said, Dude, are you sure the pastor talked about him uh, specifically? <laughs> yeah, it's very it's very you know uh, sometimes it's very very easy for us to find an excuse. To not join the local church. It's totally wrong. You like or not, but it is. 
if you want the if we want our spiritual life taken care well this part we need to pay attention that we really need to be active in the local uh, church community it's very important not just watching even though we watch the serial every day every day about this about this, about that but if you don't really connect uh, like face to face with the church member you are nothing because that's not what we have said Ephesians 2 verse 19 now therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God amen, amen. fellow citizens that try to bring us from the dark to the light in one community even though sometimes it's hard Ah, yeah, sometimes any other else but she's busy <laughs> that's the time to it's test so my, my temper right <laughs> do i need to, to get angry <laughs> sometimes i think Bumilka, eh, yeah, she replied me already late night but that's how it is <laughs> that's how it is <laughs> joke huh? they yeah, always yeah, joke, joke. <laughs> okay the last one ah yeah the last one the things that can obstruct our spiritual our spiritual growth is when we don't really know ourselves wow sometimes many things happen in our life because we don't even know who we are who are we we don't even know our weakness and our strength find our weaknesses and strengths by reflecting on the word of god many things happen in the church community in our spiritual life sometimes the reason why because we didn't know we don't know who are we we don't know that oh my weakness is about uh, i'm easy to i'm so sensitive i'm not easy satisfied we, we talked about this last time and oh my temper is so high oh i'm so lazy oh, actually if we already know about that that's the thing that god wants to to bless us, to, to, to teach us how to grow. Amen? How do we know that, that we are in a passion if there is no any problem related with passion come to our life? Not easy, but can, right? Let's grow together in God's love. Because only life can go to eternal life only life not the dead one and for those who are not really taking care of the spiritual life day by day it's become to death just like the the, the when i plant the the flower at home yeah it's like that for good and then they were, the next day it become yellow the next day like this like this like that when i check the google sometimes the leaves become become yellow because the that plant is stressed i say huh it will be stressed but yeah it just it is how it is so just make sure that these uh, four things we we avoid it amen amen let's grow together in that be fruitful and get with us amen hallelujah